Okay, this is a quick comparison of a Clake one light clutch on a 2012 CRF 250X over here and an old school cable on a 23, um, no, a 2013 uh, YZ250F. Uh, the cable's probably kind of wore out, needs lubrication, so. Uh, however, my boy, he claims that he has no problems going one finger with this, and I may as well demonstrate as well. Uh, there's, you know, I can actuate the sucker, but it, uh, you know, it, that's the problem there, is the impact on the other fingers. Anyway, we'll be checking that here in a minute. Here's the Clake One Light Clutch. This is a conversion from cable to, uh, Sorry about the contrast. I just realized how bad it is out here uh, against the driveway. Um, it was a cable system and I had to get that extra. Um, oh, it's a, it starts with an M. Mag Mag oh, crap. Magura. I forgot the name. Magura. Yeah, brand. Uh, slave cylinder down there. But so, yeah, this is the other thing. You want to practice, and I be it's become habit for me now. It's always riding this way, finger on there. Um, I may as well discuss this before we do the poll. I did whittle this down that allowed me a little more travel so when I pull it in against the uh, grip um, I do actually it improves things. They claim you know that it's omni adjustable for anyone's hand that isn't actually accurate because you adjust it here which changes this that in essence is changing your stroke length okay um, there's no way around it. Uh, I was able to gain by removing that nub that was over here. Um, I don't think I re-welded this in any way, in, in any way other than just reworking that. Um, and it in increased my uh, act actuation amount. And I always use this down here. Okay, you see how that opens up against the red back, uh, the chain casing protector there? I use that as a reference when I'm standing here adjusting, fiddling with it, just to see how much I'm actually opening up the clutch plates. Um, the uh, the job itself was pretty easy. Uh, the bins in the slave uh, system down here uh, wasn't quite right. I did have to tweak it a little bit um, just to get it into the bracket holder. You can barely see it down in there. See, it has the brass cap down there. Um, but it initially ha didn't have a good enough bend in it, as I recall. So I had to tweak it just a little bit. I went ahead and slid this, uh, heat shield, um, on here so that, uh, my already stainless, I think, braided system is still, uh, yet better protected. Um, you want to do all the bleeding before you um, install it, of course, and just fo look at the watch the videos at clake.com. Um, Luke is going to come over here now, and we're going to quickly do these polls. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, okay, this is a cheapo Walmart. Anyone can get one. Um, we did this to keep try and keep uh, contact at a minimum, uh, and go ahead and pull it a few times, Luke. Okay, repeat. So, um, keep going, Luke, a few times. We have found that it turns out to be about 6.3 pounds when we're a quarter inch from the bar. Okay. It's actually more than I thought it would be. Um, now we're going to switch over here to the Yamaha. Again, wore out cable, needs lubricant. Um, and neither one of these bikes are warm either. Um, and this is a now in setup. Let me over here, Luke. Uh, set up so that you're pulling as if you would be pulling with the index finger. And I did demonstrate it. Uh, it does, you know, I, I'm able to do it. But uh, all right, do it again. Luke is slower. It's a crazy amount, up to about 16 pounds. Um, I don't think you can see those. Do that again, Luke. And uh, Luke is not going to say a word, so it's hard for me to s watch two things. What do you want to tell do? me? Tell me when it's in or just approaching in. In. Okay, that was too fast. In. So what are we looking at? 
and maybe well, okay he's been move, let, letting his wire walk over here so let's keep it over here where the index finger was one more time yeah it gets up to about 17 pounds way over here yes we know about the leverage issue 17 pounds over here now let's walk it all the way out here and play the late leverage leverage game uh luke is gonna go. try and do this also and and it's much less and do a little slower and just yeah 9.5 pounds or something uh, way out here 9.5 pounds out here up to about 17 over here but that 17 pounds I, you know I can do it the only problem is with the silly lever being so long it impacts and you can't disengage completely uh, yeah so hopefully this is a little bit a bit informative um, I like it I've had it on this bike uh, for uh, almost two years I imagine or something like that um, it's it's really sweet and the way this is molded uh, it just I don't know it cups the finger just super very nicely um, I, I would definitely recommend it to anyone considering it if they're 54 years old like me um, yeah if you have any questions shoot me a comment or mention in the comments hopefully this wasn't very distorted later.